Hi guys, welcome to Teach Gambia, uh, filming from the Strand School. I have here with me my teaching and learning coordinator, uh, Mr. Barr, who is also the headmaster here at the Strand School. What we want to talk about today, Mr. Barr, actually is the notion of making a difference itself. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of great volunteering going on out there, but People looking at volunteering programmes, I feel, must be very careful. The story always comes to mind for me of uh, an experienced teacher who went to do an experience of volunteering, teaching in an orphanage in, uh, I believe, it was in Taiwan. Now, what she actually saw when she got there was that the local kids had been trained to convince the volunteers that they were doing a good job. So the week before, they were teaching them a language set to play hangman on the board. Uh, the volunteers come in, they suggested to them, why don't you play hangman on the board with these kids? The kids get everything right, the volunteers go home happy. Uh, it took an experienced teacher actually to go and see that, to actually see what was happening. Now, that to me is not volunteering and it is not experiencing teaching. Actually, to give it its real name, it is exploitation, and it is being done at the expense of the education of the children. Uh, if I could ask Mr. Barr to say a few words, actually, about what we are doing in our school projects in the Gambia, which ensures that there is no such exploitation. Mr. Barr? Thank you very much, Mr. Johnson. Just you rightly mentioned, as an experienced teacher, observing how volunteering is going on, so that we expect from our volunteers, when they come to do their voluntary teaching, to teach effectively and efficiently. Like you mentioned, as a teacher, you cannot just make everything for the children. Yes, you can help the children grow, because as a volunteer, you are assigned with a local teacher. In that case, don't leave all the job in the local teacher, because you want to also share your experience as a volunteer. What we need to do, you come and then involve in the full form of the teaching activities. So that you can also help the children, you can also for the job, practice right on the board, check children's work. And then you also like our volunteers to take note of that. Before you teach our things, you need to prepare. There's no lesson that should be taught without a lesson plan. And in that lesson plan also we need the teacher also to prepare a teaching aid. And that teaching aid also can get the attention of the children. So that at the end of the day, the experience you want to get from the volunteer will be achieved. So I think that's, that's, that's the real thing we want and we expect from our volunteers. Excellent. Yeah, I, I think that's why actually at Teach Gambia we make sure that we spend the time working in the schools. In fact, we are the only volunteer teaching experience in the whole of Africa that guarantees that our volunteers will be able to work with an experienced English teacher and an experienced Gambian teachers to make sure they get the most. To make sure that when they're told they're making a difference, they really are making a difference and not being sold the myth of making a difference at the expense of the education of the children. Guys, for a little bit more on what we're doing to change the face of volunteering and get this right, do check out future videos. Until then. Thank you.